All right, let's get started. First, I'm gonna start applying some opaque yellow, which I've thinned down to a mixture of 50-50, uh, roughly. And uh, I've also added a one drop of uh, brown to it to make it look a little bit more uglier and dirtier, uh, basically. The next color in line is going to be brown, and uh, I usually prefer to use uh, transparent colors when I start doing this sort of uh, shading work. Just makes it look a little bit more um, realistic when it doesn't cover too much, but just enough. And of course, it's usually a good idea to lay down. Um, just a little bit and then just build it up from there um, to see what looks good for you personally and uh, that's basically what I'm doing here I'm gonna start uh, adding some olive green and usually always start from the back and then just usually come down from there a little bit on the sides and of course on the head you know just to give a little bit of um, green touches on, on there as well and basically this is my own mixture and it's roughly 70% of um, brown and Rest 30% is it's uh, normal green. Now we're gonna start to become a little bit more creative and artistic. Yay! <laughs> um, usually I just start by pouring a little bit of paint. Uh, this is the exact paint for that, that I use for my airbrushing. And then just rip a piece of newspaper and roll that into basically a crude brush. I just usually always rip the uh, tip of the of the brush, and then just uh, start laying down some spots on the on the back. I don't know why, but I usually always start from the back. I mean, there's no really, real reason to actually do this this way, but personally, I find it more uh, effective way of doing this. And basically, there's no real um, um, pattern what that I aiming for. I just basically just randomly hit this spots and then later on when I see that there's a few of these spots are starting to interlock with each other and come in contact with each other I just actually start to superimpose them I guess that's the right term and then just um, reconnect them with each other so it actually creates sort of like this uh, burbot color that, that the fish actually has but first I just basically just always try to have different sizes of um, blotches or spots on the sides of the bait and yeah basically that's just what I'm gonna do here now
and usually at some point I start and doing these lines and this is usually just helps me to get the pattern to flow in a, in a certain way just it's just a visual thing basically it doesn't really matter that much but makes it look a little bit more cooler I think later on at least Again with the uh, stripes. And like I said before, you just want to have a lot of different sizes of uh, blotches and spat splatters uh, on the bait so that it looks a little bit more realistic. At least in the end, that is. Right now, it doesn't look much of anything really <laughs> but be patient and we'll see how cool this will end up looking I guess I could have uh, speeded up um, the video a little bit but yeah that would mean that uh, I wouldn't be able to expose you guys to uh, Dark Throne that's playing in the background. And uh, by the way, that is the uh, legendary Transylvanian Hunger. Probably uh, one of the most, or at least the first uh, pieces of extremely raw black metal. Yeah, I absolutely love this album. And uh, now you can see I'm actually starting to uh, connect a couple of these uh, spots that I have made here and try to create a certain kind of pattern that I have uh, envisioned to this bait. Alright, it's starting to look pretty good. And 
yes I'm almost done with this um, so this is basically what it should look like alright guys like always I figured I would show the end result of my little lore tutorial and um, well let me take a little lore and uh, show you a little bit better it looks like and as you can see it's a pretty cool looking um, pattern that I uh, was able to achieve with this technique that I just showed you guys and uh, yeah as always uh, if you like the video click the like button and if you like my stuff in general um, feel free, free to subscribe and uh, yeah of course um, I think I need to uh, thank you guys for subscribing to me already uh, I noticed that I achieved the uh, 2000 subscriber mark not too long ago so that's really cool so thank you guys for that and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time